Today we're going to fold a boat. Again this is a traditional fold like everything we've done so far and this is also another relatively easy fold. Uh, this is another favorite of kids in Japan. They love making these and then racing these. Now you notice it's a fairly simple thing. Now you notice I have a lot of wrinkles. There's a reason for that. It's actually... Oh, well, that's my son. Uh, this is actually... There's a step in here that produces these wrinkles. It's kind of hard to make without them. Anyways. Now, we're making this simple boat today. If you search for a boat on YouTube, you might also see this model, which is often translated as motorboat. I will actually make this in a different video. Um, whenever I get around to making this, I will put a link to it in the show notes. Anyway, so today we're making this model. So let's get started. You're going to begin with your piece of square paper. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm using the basic uh, 15 by 15 centimeters uh, square. You want to begin by facing the color downwards. And let's take one side in, about two or three centimeters. And do the same for the other. Okay. Then we're going to fold in half. Now this is one of those models where you don't have to worry too much about exactness. So now we have this nice crease in here. Let's fold both sides that crease. I just bought my son a new um, iPad game. He's playing that right now. If you know the Toka Boka games, those are really excellent games. My son's two years old. He loves the train one now. Great games for kids. Okay, so now we have this. Now next, we are going to fold each of the four corners into the middle. And if you haven't watched my videos before, I am just creasing these with the back of my fingernail, not the front, with the back. Okay, now once we have this, let's fold the corners in once again. Increase. Now I'm folding all the way to the center crease. You, That's actually not so important. You can fold part, part way if you want to. Or, Again, don't worry about exactness with this particular model. If it looks like I'm being exact, well, that's just force of habit. But again, don't worry too much with this model. Okay, well, well, see, look, I wasn't exact. Both sides are different. Again, that doesn't really matter. We don't care. Now, the next thing you are going to do here is you're going to fold both sides towards the center. Again, it can be exact. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so you're going to end up with something like this. Now, let's fold that in half, and let's open it up. Already it looks kind of like a boat, but it wants to collapse, right? 
So what we are going to do now is turn it inside out. And to do that, this is going to be a little tricky. Be careful. You can rip your paper here if you're not careful. Go slowly. And I'm just going to push one corner to reverse that. And then I'm going to go to the next corner and try to reverse that. And then I'm just going to work my way. And again, you see how everything's getting pretty wrinkly here. It is possible to reverse this without getting everything so wrinkly, but it's a little more challenging and we don't really care that much about the wrinkles. And then you can smooth it out. Smooth it out a little bit. And voila, there you go. And this will actually float relatively well. Um, now water will, this paper is not waterproof, so eventually it will sink. And the game kids do is they will put it in and they will see how long before it sinks. They'll try to race each other and things like that. Um, the next model is actually a little better, although it's about the same. But anyways, there you go. So that is how to make a boat. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Happy folding.